60 knots is what we're looking for here. We just want to go find uh, find ourselves about 50 feet over the open water. Yeah. One mile clear clouds in class golf airspace. Just don't touch one and we're good to go. What's a good power setting to get me in slow down here? Somewhere in the 3000 range is what I found. I'll try 33. Yeah, bring it on back to about 3. There you go. Hear how that engine just starts to change its sound? Yeah. When I'm setting it, I set it by ear looking for that noise. Okay, we'll make sure our water landing checklist is complete. We got our landing light pulse, our bilge pump is on, and our gear is up. Our pre water landing checklist is complete. Computer saying the wind is out of the west. And looking down at the water, we can tell it's windy. There aren't any streaks or anything building up yet. A few over there, maybe. So I agree with the, the computer. It is coming from the uh, out of the west there. Now, uh, do we want to land in the streaks or no? Yeah. So just this would be sort of like a right, right base, base yeah. yeah. So just come on around. Good. So 60 knots is your approach speed, but don't be too wound up about hitting that exactly. Get a good stabilized approach all the way down to the water. We're looking outside, picking out something in front of us that we can really see well. We don't want to get our nose too high up here. You're just feeling for ground effect, so it starts right. coming in right there. about here, and just and once we try to, yeah, fly the airplane a few feet over the water, and then let it sink in there. All right, let's power up and go. All right, you have controls. Oh no, I'm just helping you out there. All right, I have controls. All right, you've got the controls. Okay, now power back to about 4,000. Just want to cruise above the water here, okay. 65 knots. Right about here. Yeah, it's pretty good. So get comfortable flying just a few feet over the water because that's what you're going to need to be able to do first. We got a boat going some direction there. We'll keep an eye on it. Is instead of like how we have to on land come in, flare, and make it touch down. Here we've got miles and miles ahead that we can really practice our touchdown. So you want to come in, get into ground effect, find yourself a foot or two off the water, reduce the throttle ever so slightly and then let the boat sit right down on the uh, I feel like I'm in ground effect now. You are. All right. So should I land? Uh, you can try it. See these swells yeah. right here? And they're going diagonally. Though. Yeah, and that'll be OK. All right. Well, we're we're going to need to reduce the power. Yeah. All right, add yet. some power, pitch back, get us off the surface. A little more power than that. Yeah, a little more. And All you right, just want to, I want you to practice just kind of dipping down, touching the surface. Should we move and get out of the way of these houses? Well, yeah, let's not hit the houses. We'll take a right. Keep following the the channel. That little jet skier, we'll yeah. uh, pass him to the right or the left, either one. We'll see where he goes. I'll come around on his left, unless he turns back in. go left in between the boats or get out and yeah, a let's spot. take a left turn stay in the middle of the water here all right we should have room ahead of us so I'm too fast here I'll reduce that power yeah flatten the nose a little bit I'll get us pointed towards there's a buoy out there kind of the longest spot of the channel oh, okay yeah so reduce your power till you hear that engine sort of grumble a little bit Need 4,000 to stay in ground effect. Oh, don't even look inside. Don't worry about it. Just set it by sound, set it by feel here. Okay, so here's ground effect. Yeah. Good. We're sinking a little bit, so I'll add some more yeah. and more. Uh, there's a pretty big wake there, so we'll just keep flowing until they're past us. But we're in ground effect right now. Yeah. All right, so reduce your throttle just a pinch. 
let the belly skip on the water. And then when you feel that, I want you to power up and climb away. All right. Nice. Let's get all the way out. Yeah, so it looks like a water skier or something. So just keep climbing straight out. We'll go up to about 1,200 feet, turn around, and come back the other way. Can I go all the way to full? Yeah. Hear that turbo kick in. Does this have some sort of max continuous? It does, but you're actually, you're at the, uh, you're not in the, what am I trying to say, the turbo range, you have an over engaged here. That's only available from the left side. Uh, so okay. where, your position there, you can run that uh, 100%. That's good to know that. Full time, yeah. Alright, we'll just bring that around to the left. We won't interrupt the uh, water skier here. We'll take a, a right, aim a little bit farther downstream. There you go. It's starting to approach run right here. Pull your power back to about 3,000 on the engine. Like right there? Yeah. There we go. Actually, uh, a little, little farther. There you go. That kind of low rumble it gives you. All right. Right at 65. touch the water and get back out again. Yep, our, our goal on this first one is just round out, find ground effect, hold it a few feet off the water for a few seconds, touch the water, and then go back up. Coming out right here, right about now, start the round out, add a little bit of power, a little bit more than that. We're in ground effect here, it's starting to sink, so I have just a little more power. Alright, we're yeah. mostly stable now. So if I just drop the power just a little bit. Yeah. Let it touch down. There's nice. that jams full power. Alright, very good. Nice. Just take a left turn. You can level off about 50 feet above the water here and we'll go up the stream. Excellent, okay. So now do that again, but don't uh, hold the ground effect portion as long this time. Okay. Try to do it for about half the length of time you did there. We'll keep sneaking up on it. There's that little rumble. I've gotten fast again. I think that's been my energy so far. Coming down the goes around out there, add a little bit of power, keep us in ground effect. And now I'll just drop the power a little bit. Yeah. I over rotated. There's a touch. We'll okay. Back. Nice. So climb up to about 50 feet again. We've got this one boat on the right, and uh, but we're clear straight ahead. Otherwise, so give me another one straight ahead. All right. And during your level off, don't add as much power. It feels like maybe you have to, but. There you go. Okay, yeah, so we're still staying in ground yeah. effect here, just fine. And then now just drop that power a little bit. Yeah, that look at that. And we'll get out more. Very nice. Okay, so climb up, we'll do a turn around and uh, go back out towards the bigger water. And you can either go in that, make a left turn, or we'll probably do that. Okay. I'm trying yeah. not to directly fly over everybody, but slide it out of the houses. And we'll back our power off just a bit now to quieten in that noise. Oh, that dude has a nice kayak set up there. Is he fishing? He is. That looks nice.
Alright, so you see this speedboat here? Yeah. He just cut us a pretty nice runway. So I'll call us on a right base for it. You see that V that's separating? Yep. All right, so put it inside the middle of that V, as far down the, the stream as you want. So it looks like we got another one coming our way. Oh, that might be a problem. Yeah. Keep your setup, and we'll see what the closure rate is here once we get on it. I overshot a little bit. That's all right, you're looking good. We got plenty of room here. Unless they really accelerate and steer towards us, we're fine. Starting around out here, add yeah. a little bit of power, and then drop that power. There's a touch, and we'll go back. Nice. All right, we're getting there. We'll side step over a little bit and use the wake that uh, this one just cut for us. See the, the one that just passed us there, not oh, the one ahead of us? That makes sense. There you go. I, I don't know if I can get set up for that again. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, just go straight ahead here. All right. That'll put us out of uh, anyone's range. All right, do the same thing this time. I don't want you to add the power when you try to hit ground effect. All right, so rotate right here. My power's too high anyway. And just let it touch down? Yeah. All right, power up and go. Take a right and go out that channel. So we're kind of sneaking up on the idea of a nice smooth approach with a round out, about two to three seconds of float, and then a good touchdown. So right. we're minimizing that um, amount of power change that you're having to do. That makes sense. Never mind. What time is your lesson? Nine o'clock? We got to get back by? Uh, it's not actually until 10. 10, okay. Alright, level off uh, about here, and we'll go, we'll go up that way, spread the love around a little bit. Been trying to keep the engine a little bit lower if I yeah. can. Yeah, yep. Fly friendly. Go, you see this finger that goes that way towards the dam? Yes. We'll uh, follow that one. We'll see what the wind's doing over there. The, um, a lot of times there's pretty good turbulence near that mountain when it's windy, so we'll see. If we get shook, we'll just turn around. That sounds like a good plan to me. Right, so there's a pretty good uh, runway that got cut out for you. You don't have to hit it exactly, we'll just go to the right pass behind that boat. So yeah, and uh, just towards either that uh, opening there on the side of the hill, that brown spot, that'll be just fine. All right, so we'll pull the inch back till we hear that rumble. Right about there. Yep. And you want me to touch down and go again? Yep. All right. So I'll do the round out here, not add any power. Cut the power a little bit. There's that touchdown. I think I took out too much power, yep. and that's why we dropped. So if you don't mind, let me do one. And right, now that you're controls. kind of getting uh, my controls, you're getting the subtleties of where I'm going for. Maybe you can pick up uh, what I'm doing there right at the end. So, power to right about here, somewhere back to where I can really feel the drag come in. Okay. 60 knots, I'm looking outside. Nice, easy round out right here. Okay, so you're rounding out a lot lower than me. Yeah. Alright, your controls. All right, my controls, do you want me your to just control. do another one? Yeah, sure. Okay, so that's about what the power was. Keeping it coming in. Start to round out. This is much lower. And then there's that touch and go. Okay, yeah. So you get there. The main difference um, 
or not between the one that you and I just did, but one of the main points about that low round out, you want to make sure that you don't have a rapid, steep rate of descent, because then you better get the round out just right. That um, makes sense. Yeah. So get yourself set up again here. Yeah, throttle back. Good. Looking good. Okay. Yeah, so I'll try to be more shallow on the approach and then just yeah. more gradual on the roundout. But there I can still I got a lot lower. Now we're in the roundout. Cut the power a little bit. I overflared. There's that touchdown, has some power. That's good. And I got off to the side there. And we'll take a left turn. Throttle back just a bit for noise, and we'll take a big left turn around this uh, cove. Going. We'll use the open water out there next. All right. That big white building, use that as an A marker. All right. And uh, splash straight ahead. more powerful this since we started kind of low energy all right there, this is looking nice all right so i'll start to arrest that ready to send right about here's where i'm starting that round up for real yeah. now i'm in ground effect i'm still a little higher than you were but i'll drop the power just a little bit there, uh, that's very nice. Power. Very, very nice. We're back up. Okay. Let's see. You can climb straight ahead. We're going to take the channel to the right and see if we can find some smoother water to work in. Do some step taxi because you're getting the hang of the touchdowns now. All right, good. All right, see that big fast boat there? Off the one going left to right, yep. Yeah. So that's the channel we're going to take, and we'll uh, go around all the land instead of over it there. on coming around this peninsula and then this area to the right of the channel where all the boats are. All right. It's a big long, uh, it's not a lot of boats, do a splash and go there for me. You want me to point left of the island or right of the island? Uh, left of the island. All right. Yeah, this is perfect. And you can see there's some kind of like wake or wave or something. So we want to land on the other side of that. That's good, because I'm a little fast anyway, so I'll right. it out. Yeah, and you come left just a little bit more towards that open water. There you go. I'll clear that, I can drop the car back. Coming down, start to flatten out. Right here is the round out. And then there's the touchdown. Nice. We'll get back out. Very nice. All right, side step left. Let's go down the channel. So you definitely have to get lower than I was doing at the start. Yeah. Now, once you really get the hang of being able to just do that over and over, then you can start working on things like your spot landings. 
And so here's an example. You see this uh, orange buoy right there? Yeah. Let's see if we can land right next to it. My controls? Your controls. And by next to it, I mean to beam it, obviously. Yeah. But use that as our target point. Missed it by about 50, I think, but that's the next part of your controls if you want them. Control. Next part of what you're looking for is once you can consistently touch down smooth on the water, start tightening up the uh, your aim point. You came in a lot, or not a lot, but you were about three or four knots slower in that round out than I was. Yep. Um, the more you get uh, used to, and we've got the little air pins to go through here. The more you get used to controlling this airplane at slower speeds, the um, the, the more precise you can be because you don't have as much energy. Alright, so you got some smooth water up in front of you, no boats that I see. So let's see if we can uh, land and stay on step. And I'll help you with that. Uh, you stay on the controls when we get in the water, got and I will stay on the controls with you because it can be a little bit finicky. If we see a boat or something coming, we'll uh, make the decision to knock it off or not. That's correct. Yeah, but not too much yet. We want to stay right here, sort of on the cusp of being able to fly, but not being yeah. able to fly. And here we're using the rudder to steer. We're using the rudder to steer, and we're using the ailerons to do whatever's needed to keep our wings level. Right. Hey, we're caught in the whoopty doos here. But back to power off just a pinch. There we go. And up a turn right. Looks like we've got a couple of boats coming at us, so we're gonna. Power up and go. Now in your calmer water, you've got a bunch more hydrodynamic drag. Let's power off just a bit. There you go. Yeah, this seems kind of similar to the other day that we went up. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I remember that day. We kind of got beat pretty good. I had no idea of what was normal, so. <laughs> All right, looks like we should probably turn around and head back towards the south. This is where the uh, oh, fog awesome. layer starts. I'll keep on climbing just to get a little more separation from the land here. Okay. So this, uh, since we're up this high, this uh, real thin jet of land, we're just going to quietly cut across it so we don't have to do the hairpins. All right. Getting a little more used to the power settings on this also, like 4,000 is keeping us around 60 without descending. Yep. Take a right, step over into the channel. Uh, 
and I'll start descending. We're going to pass over this boat below us, and we'll land after that other boat's wing. All right, I like it. So we'll see if I can touch down a beam that uh, buoy on our left. I probably will fail miserably. But the first one or the second one? The first one. First, first one, one we got, got no too chance. Much energy. Yeah, yeah. that's 66 right now. Second one, I might not have enough energy unless I want to add a bunch of power, so I'll try. All right, we're at 60 right here. I'm adding some power. I'm going to straighten this out here. boats or anything in front of us. Let's try that again. Is he the second one off to our left? Yep. Uh, I don't know if that's a buoy or... That's an osprey nest, so just don't get too close to it, but we can use it as an a beam point. All right. I should have cut power a little earlier. I think it'll be right. The amount that I'm dropping the power on, like, final, okay? Yeah. I think I had in my head from last time you needed more power, uh, just because we had to keep adding the power on the step taxi, but this is different, so. That's correct. All right, we've had room for one more, and then we can turn to the right. Is that sure. Right. That sounds great. So pull back till we hear that rumble. Right about 58 here is good. I'm not coming in too steep. I'll do a little less power. Tell you what, when you touch down, we're going to stay on step. We'll right. take a right turn and then we'll take off. All right, we're right. On. so we're on. We'll Let's stay on step. Yeah, right rudder just a little bit. Yeah, and then we'll skip whatever around. we need to keep the wings level. Yeah. All right, now we can right power up and go. we got to speed up a little bit here since we slow down. And pull her off. We're going to go right to avoid the pylons. Good call. Very nice. I will say that sensation of turning on the ground feels very raw. Yes, it does. Lots of fixed gear. Love, yes, it uh, does. Plan, plan. All right, man. You're doing great. Let's go do... Uh, We'll follow this track, do a few more, and then climb up, get above the uh, crud, and head back to Runa. Sounds good to me. I'll bring that power back out. I want to mess with the power settings a little bit more, too. Sure. About, here's what I think of as the rubble, but that's still 400 RPM above 3,000. Yeah, it's just, just a, that difference between you can feel us decelerate right there. Yeah. We, we hit a certain spot. Start the round out here, right next to ground effect here. There's that touch, and we'll go full power and get back out. Nice. All right, we got a jet ski here. Just keep going straight ahead, and then we'll take a right pass behind them. Go on up the channel. Now there's that boat. So as long as there's no other big boats here, we could use uh, the jet ski track as our next landing. Oh, I see it. And then you see that green marker? Yep. Why don't you stick it right next to that in the jet ski track? down long every time. Sure. Coming in much flatter than before. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing, but I'll just keep my power in for a second. And there goes the power. And there's our touch. I overdid it, so we'll go around. That's all right. 
Go ahead and take a left here. We'll stay on the uh, left side of this boat. Got another marker right up ahead. Well, I think my approach is fine. I just overdid it on the power yeah. there. If you've got lots of open water coming in, that flat's not a problem. Uh -huh. um, if we're trying to stick it in somewhere tighter, we want to come in steeper. Okay. Um, I'm going to miss it here also. Yeah. And honestly, I think the point is a distraction at the moment. Okay. That's no worries. I don't really understand what I'm doing. I can see what's happening, but I don't know what directions I really need to make. Gotcha. Give me one more down through there. There's a there's a green buoy. Just you don't have to land next to it. Just make sure that we, we don't, don't get it. it yeah. We're going right at it. There you go. Okay, here's our round out. All right, nice. That was smooth. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so climb up to about 1,200 for me. We'll do. Uh, we're gonna go do the confined area. I don't think we got to do that on the flight I did with you before, did we? No. Okay. Cool. So we'll do that. That'll set us up uh, pretty good for getting out of here too. Alright, there should be a, I don't, don't know if we're going to see it in the haze, there's a cell tower back there, just uh, come left to about a 170, there right. you go, oh that's too far, go to the right, I'm oh, sorry. Right. I'm not sure where we're going because we're flying away from the lake. Yep. So what we're going to do, this is a confined area landing. And i tell you what, I'm going to demo this for you. That My controls. Me. You have controls. And it'll show you some of the, the reason that we want to be able to come in steeply, on speed, all that good stuff. Um, so we imagine that maybe the lake you live on is much smaller or the river part you live on is much smaller and we don't get miles and miles of open water here. Come in over the pine trees and then take a left to uh, run into that finger. Now, we're not going to land on the blind corner just because on a busy lake like this, um, yeah, who knows what's coming around the bend. But we're going to set up like we could. All right. You see the river starting to appear here off our left? Not yet. Now you see the houses that look like they're built on a river? No, I see them. So if we really chop the power right here, I mean, we could put it down right next to this big boathouse, yeah? Yeah. We're not gonna, just because there's probably somebody skiing coming up the river here. But you can see how tight of a hole that we can get in and still have an exit plan. That's the important part. Right. Come on around. Yeah, see, that's why we don't do it. But we'll land it right there in his wake. All right, we're on step. Your controls with Fine. me here. Controls. So this is really good water for step taxi practice. We're protected from the wind for the most part. We just need a little more power as we slow yep. down, right? You just want to stay right there at about that between the red and green. Don't think about it too hard. If it feels like you can take off, you're going too fast. If it feels like you're about to get bogged down, you're going too slow. All right, I'll just try a turn to the right here gradually. Yep. All right, and then like we'll do a left turn. And again, this is what feels like I'm going to break yes. something. Yes, it takes a while to get used to that. I need a little left to the right. right. I tell you what, let's do a left turn here. I'm on the controls uh, right. with you here. We're going to go look at this boat ramp again. This feels like something wrong. It does. Uh, you have controls here. My controls, yep, I got you. We're going to 
to come off step down here and go to displacement. All right. Before we get to these wake buoys. And it's going to tip, I remember that. Yeah, there's displacement. We're going to do... Um, I don't think we're actually going to ramp here because uh, there's a lot of vehicles. Oh man, look at all the buzzards sitting on this people's trucks. Wow. Um, and this person's about to put in a uh, jet ski. But we're going to uh, get some practice of extending this gear because that's, uh, that's a trip if you've never done it. No, I can extend the gear and just yep. taxi up. So go ahead and I'm going to get you to extend the gear for me. Take the... Um, and this is okay to do in the water? Yep. It's going to feel weird, and you're going to have to go slow with it because those wheels really don't want to go underwater. Okay. All right, so we got gear down. We're technically on wheels. That really stabilizes us, yeah? Oh, yeah, okay. The wind can still mess with us. Yeah, so that ramp is wide enough that we could get taxi in straight for it and come on up. They're wondering what we're going to do. Yeah, well, we'll just head over this way. Like I say, if they hadn't pulled in, we would uh, be able to taxi right up that center, go around. They're asking if we want to. Yeah. yeah. That would have been crazy to have an airplane there. Yeah. Doesn't feel like the place an airplane should be. <laughs> All right, so bring your wheels up. All right. Put the bungee on and then put that little green cloth over that hole so we don't lose our phones and pens and stuff. Where's the cloth? Oh, I got it. It's behind you. You can't see it. There you go. Alright. Very button up here. Lock the top hatch. Alright, excellent. So in this airplane, um, we can't really do what's called plow taxi, meaning stay displacement but a lot of power, because uh -huh. we will very rapidly over temp. That makes sense. Um, we also don't want to get too significantly on step but not flying with a wake that size coming through. You see these guys? Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to go sort of towards them, stay in displacement to get on the other side and in between their wake, then we'll do our takeoff on the uh, on the path they cut for us. All right, and something I want you to explain either when we're in cruise sure. or on the way back is how you did that turn. Because that felt like a turn a boat would do, but our wing stayed level, and when I was on the controls, I was worried our wing would drop and we'd dig in, which obviously didn't happen. But So it's all about the, the cross controlling, right? That as um, we're turning left with the rudder, yep. well, that outer wing is now going faster, so the airplane wants to roll. Okay, well, we just don't let it. They have to separate your brain, uh, sort of, to uh, whatever it takes to keep the wings level, you do with the aileron, and then we keep the uh, the steering with I our feet. I didn't know the plane could just do that at all. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. we're going to go right towards this wake now, a little bit offset, so we're not just getting thumped up and down. Definitely don't want to hit those at uh, 40 knots. Yeah. All right, smooth out. Check right for me because I can't see over her shoulder. There is a boat coming, but they're going to cross behind us at an angle. Okay. So, displacement takeoff. All right, full stick back, full power. As the nose comes up, we help it up onto our own weight. Now we're on step. I'm off turbo mode. And we're just on step. Normal takeoff. Yeah. All right, your controls. My controls. Oh, turn right. Find some open water, do one more splash and go for me, and then let's climb it up and head home. Can I let it touch down and stay on step for a second? Yeah, sure. As long as the water's smooth enough. 
Alright, I see a V that was cut by somebody that speedboat way up there. We can see right. that. So I should be coming in steeper as long as I'm not touching down steep. Maybe not this steep because we're still a little fast. Do less power here. How does this look for step? That's fine. Alright. Start the round out here. And ground effect. Touch down, add a little bit of power. Alright, now we're on step. Yeah. It's getting a little choppy. I'm going to just go ahead and go. Okay. Pitch back. There we go. All right. As soon as we lift off, you can feel the drag go away. Okay, I'll tell you what, take a left turn around this island, uh -huh. and we may have some water that's um, flat enough over there to, to do some step work. All right, 810, I'm going to switch your fuel tanks. All right. Make a fuel log. Fuel right here, a fuel calculator. That uh, nice fuel gal. Nope. Oh. We're good to go with two gallons. Well, that's on the right tank. Oh, okay. We got two gallons on the right, we got five on the left, and then we got four in the header tank. So we could keep doing this for a long time. You have to add just a little more power. You kind of got to look ahead and see the water coming up. Oh, yeah. And it gets shinier, which means we're going to have more and more drag. I see what you mean about the cross controls. I do right aileron there. Yeah. It will take some time for my brain to get used to being able to do this because this would break the gear. Yeah. Once you, uh, once you get the turn wrapped up tight enough, you actually need opposite rudder. To, to keep going in that same direction. That makes sense. Because okay, it'll just tighten up on its own. Yeah, just like that. Yep. All right, I'm ready to go. Okay. Go, ahead, go full power. What's the rotate speed on the water? Oh, it says when, it, when it happens. We're pitching up for minimum drag, and she'll go when she's ready. Pull it back. There we go. So a little more than I was doing. Yep. All right, man, nice work. Follow the water, climb on up to uh, about 2,500. All right. And you can do your after water landing checklist, landing light to off, bilge pump to off, and make sure your gear is still up. Still is. All right, after landing, or after water checklist complete. 